Deshaun Watson still day to day. Um, they're hoping that he's going to continue making progress um, as they feel like he has. Some other injury news. Michael Dunn injured his calf. Um, not sure what that will be. And Anthony Walker is in the concussion protocol. Joel Batonio and Cedric Tillman could be back on the practice field Wednesday when the team returns. Kevin Stefanski this afternoon talked about the win over the 49ers. Like we talked about yesterday, you know, really hard fought. Uh, gutty win, uh, proud of the effort from the players, really proud of the, the game plan put together by the coaches. Um, so it was it was really a good outing uh, for a bunch of people, and, and it wasn't perfect, it wasn't pretty, but I think you just saw a, a team battling, and that's what you have to do against a really good opponent. And I mentioned yesterday, I thought our fans were, you know, incredible uh, fr from the jump right there with us. And really, again, Scott, we've touched on it. You know, P.J. Walker, not a lot of time in the system. He made a couple of throws that were really good and a couple of throws where you're like, ooh, please don't do that again. <laughs> please don't do that again. <laughs> yeah, you know, what I think the, the worst throw he made was the almost interception on that last drive, right, two plays before the field goal. And, you know, and I've seen Stefanski get some criticism for throwing the ball there. I mean, you throw it there, so – you try to get to a touchdown lead right. and a field goal doesn't beat you. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, I get that you're on your third string quarterback, but you got to trust him not to throw an interception, right? Like you can let him throw it. Just don't throw it into triple coverage across your body. So it was a terrible decision, obviously by Walker. Stefanski took no chances on the next play, ran it and then kicked the field goal. Um, but even the two interceptions, like the one he was late, I think coming back across his body or coming back to David Bell, the first interception from Fred Warner, I think he thought Warner would go with Njoku. Instead, Warner just sat right there. Um, and then the second one, he had one-on-one -on -one with Cooper on the outside, Amari Cooper. And Cooper just lost the battle. It was kind of a physical hand fighting, and he fell, and the other guy intercepted it. Um, so, you know, Walker, you know, he hung in there. He made a couple of plays. He made the fourth down throw to David Bell on the second last field goal drive, which was huge. Obviously extended that drive and gave the Browns where they only needed a field goal on that last possession to win the game or to take the lead. So, you know, he played way better than DTR did, you know, a couple weeks earlier against the Ravens. It's a tough 49ers defense. Um, so, you know, I think he gets kudos for that. But I keep thinking, just imagine what they would do when you have a legitimate quarterback in there. If you're starting quarterback in Deshaun Watson, um, it would feel like kind of everything's coming together.